Shakataya Bahandeleba, Rima Sakata Lava Shandeleba, Rima Sakata, in Talama Shakate, in Askia Upeño, in Askia Upeño, in Askia Upeño, Bana Matufungolia, Mikwa Subuya Leo, Yakoba Bana Nataka Kutus idea, Nabana to Media Chilia Wako, to Sidea Ewana, to Shikem Kono Ewana, to Angos Ewana, to Elekes Ewana, and to West East of Pari Mila Wewe, Rom Taka Tifu Awana, Joka Bata Kunis idea. See where Sito Chote Mila Wewe Roa Wana, come and empower my spirit, Holy Spirit of God, come and empower me, come and vitalize me, come and cut Catalyze me, Holy Spirit of God, baptize me with grievance, calabos ante, lepras cote bishaya, italamazo cote lebricato, abracados elemasia, parazo cote lebasha, in the mighty name of Jesus, oh we glorify your mighty name, what is your name, what is your name Lord, we bless your mighty name, we give you praise oh Lord, we give you honor, because you have heard our prayer, Thank you, King of Glory. We give you praise and we give you honor. Father, we surrender before your presence. We surrender to your anointing. We surrender to your power. We surrender to your supernatural. We surrender to the kingdom secrets. Though that might go, you may reveal yourself unto our lives. We are here gathered this morning because we need more of you, Jehovah. Tunakuitaji zaidi. Atujafika na safari ngaliko bali. Tunaitaji musaada wako. Naomba asubui na mchana waleo. Siku ya leo bwana ukatunene ukapata kutuelekeza kule ambao tumelegea bwana ukatutie nguvu kupitia roho wako mtakatifu katika jina la Yesu Kristo na takasa anga ya ibada zetu siku ya leo kwa damu ya Yesu Kristo mwana wa Mungu inatangaza upenyo kwa kila mmoja ambaye atajiunga nasi katika hizi ibada awe yako hapa ndani ama yako nje popote wanapata sauti hii baba wa mbinguni naomba mbingu zikapata kufunguka neema ikapata kutembea ni unjiza ikapata kuwa ni udhihirisho siku ya leo ishara zikapata kuwa ni udhihirisho maajabu yakapata kuwa ni udhihirisho na kwamba bwana tumekutana na uwepo wako na kwamba bwana umehudumia maisha yetu na barikisha wa mama wazee wasichana wavulana na hata watoto wachanga ambao wanapata sauti ya ima dhabao Nema yako bwana ikapate kutosha inapangua mipango ya shetani inategua mitego yao yote inavunja madhabahu za kuzimu madhabahu za angani na baharini ambao zina resist against and advancement of your people we destroy those altars in the mighty name of Jesus and we declare and decree this is the season of release it is a season of revival it is a season of new encounters in the mighty name of Jesus we bless you and we give you glory Thank you because of the accomplished work of the cross because we have seen it is manifestation in our lives father we bless you we give you glory in Jesus mighty name we pray and we believe amen and amen and amen tumpe yesu makofi mazuri kabisa haya makofi mazuri ya yesu iko apya hallelujah somebody say my father my god my father my god your servant is ready your servant is ready speak into my life speak into my life in the name of jesus in the name of jesus amen amen appreciate our viewers all over the world they are joining us hallelujah amen. god bless you god bless you for coming on board please share this broadcast uh, widely 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 become a blessing to somebody and definitely the heavens will open up for you in jesus mighty name appreciate our papa and mommy for good hallelujah for good opportunity they have given us hallelujah oh my god you are not doing good today i don't know why. hallelujah appreciate the pastoral team Hallelujah. Appreciate all leaders of this church. Hallelujah. Finally appreciate the Holy Spirit of God. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you so much. God bless you. You may have your seat. Wale mnajiunga nasi once again. Karibuni sana hapa ni Kings Love Ministry. Uh tuko Motito one day. Kama unatanzama ukiwa kwa njia unakuja. Karibu sana utatupata tunaendelea. Basi kama ni mara yako ya kwanza kututazama Mungu akubariki sana stay tuned to there till the end and God is going to bless you so much God bless you apostle Paul Munyao for tuning in God bless you uh mm -hmm. Catherine Mwangeli for coming on board God bless every one of you for tuning in today may heavens 
tune into your sequence also in Jesus mighty name amen na mbingu pia zitune zikuje kwako vile umetune on this altar amen katika jina la Yesu Kristo amen nataka niongee na watumishi wa Mungu ambao wako katika ibada ya leo hebu nione kama hapa kuna watumishi wa Mungu amen online do we have servants of God online there can i see a wave a wave a wave a wave amen oh it's like these people are followers they are members you are not a worker are you a servant of God yes wewe ni mtumishi wa Mungu Yes. Sinione ukiinua kama mkono hivi kama wewe mtumishi wa Mungu. Amen. Amen. God bless you so much. I want to talk about an approved worker. Amen. An approved worker. Wow. An approved worker. That is my uh, my teaching this morning and I believe somebody's ministry is going to take another shape. Amen. It's going to be shifted into another level. Amen. I can't hear you are good. Amen. I don't know why. Amen. But God has given him a word. Amen. And I know it is going to change your ministry for good and for better. Amen. If you shout hallelujah, I'm talking about you. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. An approved worker. What is to be approved? Ah, uh, 2 Timothy chapter 2 verse 15. Kabla asome pale wacha niseme what is to be approved? You need you see God uh Mungu ni Mungu ambaye ni wa sana. Uh, Mungu ni wa watu wote lakini kuna watu ambao huwa anachagua. Amen. Biblia inasema vizuri ni Yesu alisema ya kwamba many are called but few are chosen. Amen. So I'm talking about the chosen, I'm not talking about the called. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. You might be here today and you not you don't know whether you are you are chosen. Uh, but I'm here this morning to submit to you that you are chosen. Amen. If you want to see whether you, if you want to know whether you are chosen Look the way you act towards the work of God. Amen. Angalia vile una una ile kutamani kufanyia Mungu kazi. Utajua ya kwamba ni kweli nimeitwa na zaidi ya kuitwa nimechaguliwa. Amen. Ndio maana hali in the morning ulikuwa ushafika. Amen. Wale ambao wameitwa bado wanaendelea kujipanga wafike. Amen. Lakini wale wamechaguliwa washafika. Amen. Si ujipigie makofi umechaguliwa na unaenda mbali. Hallelujah. Then after being called You are chosen Amen. after being chosen you are approved. Amen. 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 Kila mtu ambaye alitembea na Mungu kuna process alipitia. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Number one, he or she was called. Number two, he or she was chosen. Amen. After being chosen, uh-huh. she or he was approved. Amen. What is to be approved? To be approved means to have a quality of value. Amen. Ah. Amen. May you be approved in the name of Jesus. Amen. So to be approved means to have a quality of value. That means there are people who are more valuable than others. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And if you want to know your quality or your value, look at the people you attract in your life. Amen. 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 Apostle Peter was different from Apostle James. Uh-huh. Amen. Amen. Because Peter was more approved than James. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Kuna waimbaji wameitwa, waimbaji wamechaguliwa kuimba. Lakini kuna wale wanaimba mpaka kazi yao uimbaji ikipimwa iko na frequency ya juu kuliko wengine. Amen. Because they have been approved. Amen. May God approve you are calling this morning in Jesus mighty name. Amen. May you meet a quality of standard in, on, in the name of Jesus. Amen. To be approved means to meet the standard. Amen. Katika kazi ya Mungu, hata vile unaona hii kanisa tunaendelea kusonga na kusonga. There are qualities we have met. Amen. In the kingdom of God. And development is not automatic. Uh-huh. Blessing is not automatic. Uh-huh. To be anointed is not automatic. Uh-huh. To be favored is not automatic. Uh-huh. There are qualities we must meet. There are standards in the kingdom of God we must meet for us to be approved. Amen. My prayer is that anybody watching and listening to me, Amen. God is going to approve you to be a good worker. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Second Timothy chapter 2 verse 15. Do your best to present yourself to God as one approved. Do your best. Amen. So if you want to gain approval in God's kingdom, you must do your best. Amen. Mungu hana interest na watu ambao ndio unaonanga. 
people come to this church uh-huh. some people are blessed others are not blessed uh-huh. wengine wanatumiwa na Mungu wengine hawatumiwi uh-huh. why when we come to the level of doing they don't do the best uh-huh. they do what they can uh-huh. ah amen watumishi wa Mungu ni wengi wanahubiri uh-huh. lakini kuna wale ambao they are doing their best uh-huh. in preaching Uh-huh. There are others who are just preaching for the sake of preaching. Aha. Uh-huh. Kuna washa sababu wanaasha just because of wanaonekana wasikose kuwasha. Uh-huh. But there are those who are ushering their best. Amen. Ay 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 ay. Amen. Kuna waimbaji wanasimama kwa mic kuimba, lakini kuna wale wanaimba their best. Amen. Maana walisoma scripture inasema ya kwamba do your best to present yourself to God as approved. Amen. 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 Ukiingia kutumikia Mungu, do the best. Amen. Ukiingia kumpatia Mungu, mpatie the best. Amen. Biblia inasema ya kwamba do your best. Amen. To present yourself, not ourself. Uh-huh. So I'm talking to a person or ministry here. Amen. Naongea na huduma ya mtu binafsi hapa. Amen. I'm not talking general ministry. Uh-huh. Najua kuna mtu Mungu anataka kumtumia zaidi hapa. Amen. Do you are best to present yourself. Uh-huh. Before the Lord as one who is approved. Amen. Number two, a worker who does not need to be ashamed. Amen. And who correctly handles the word of truth. Amen. A worker. So I'm talking to a worker. Amen. 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 You see there are people in the kingdom of God they are bosses. Aha. Uh-huh. But God is interested with the workers. Amen. Mungu hahitaji boss kanisani. Ah uh-huh. ah, anahitaji watendakazi. Amen. Kuna watendakazi Mungu amenituma kwao. Amen. Na maisha yao lazima ibandilike. Amen. Kama wewe ni mmoja wao si useme haleluya kubwa. Haleluya. Who is a worker? A worker Ah uh, is the minister of God to the people. Amen. A worker is a minister of God to the people. So what is to minister? To minister is to serve. Amen. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Amen. Yesu alifika mahali akaangalia watu vile wanamkondolea macho kila mahali anaenda. Biblia inasema ya kwamba akaangalia na akawahurumia. Uh-huh. Akageukia mitume akawaambia mavuno yako tayari. Uh-huh. lakini watendakazi ndio wamekosekana amen. amen amen because everybody who is coming in the church is coming to be served uh-huh. we are beyond that uh-huh. you are beyond that amen sisi sote tukija hapa kuhudumiwa kuna watu hatujawahi fikia uh-huh. bwana yesu asifiwe amen unaona watu wote ambao wanakuja hii church we have been with the man of god for nine years amen we are still kodoling macho atuhudumie Uh-huh. Iliali tulihudumiwa tukahudumia watu wengine. Amen. May God approve you this morning. Amen. I say may 2022 God approve you. Amen. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Amen. Kwa hiyo ni watu ambao wako tayari kutumika. Aha. Uh-huh. Sio kuhudumiwa, kuhudumiwa ni sawa, lakini there is another reward for those who serve others. Aha. Uh-huh. Hallelujah. Amen. To talk in your level ya kila wakati we want to be served, we want to be served. God is not interested with bosses. Uh-huh. Mungu anataka workers. Amen. Ndio maana tunaitangwa co-workers with Christ. Amen. Somebody say I am a co-worker. I am a co-worker. So to minister means to serve. The reason as to why we study is to make our service impactful. Amen. Huyu ni Paulo alikuwa anaandikia mtoto wake wa kiroho anaitwa Timotheo. Anamwambia jitahidi. Uh-huh. Study Amen. to show yourself approved. Amen. A workman ama a servant who is not ashamed. Uh-huh. Mtu ambaye anajua ya kwamba mbingu zinanitegemea. Amen. Hii kanisa tungekutana hivi tunakutana leo. Kila mtu akiamini ya kwamba service yake ndio Mungu anangojea. Amen. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Amen. Maombi yake ndio Mungu anangojea. Uimbaji wake ndiye Mungu anangojea. Mahubiri yangu ndiyo Mungu anangojea. Angojei mhubiri mwingine tungekuwa tumeenda mbali sana. Amen. Bal, tunafika mahali tunaanza kuona ya kwamba hii kitu ni kama ya so and so. No, si ya so and so it is for you. Amen. Some say I am a worker. I am a worker. Hallelujah. Amen. Nisomee kitabu kinaitwa E 1 Corinthians chapter 11 verse 1. An approved worker pours himself or herself to the people he is serving. 
and approved worker mtu ambaye amechaguliwa atumike huwa anajitoa maisha yake kutumikia watu Paulo anaambia kanisa ya Korintho ametoka kuongea na Timotheo of course Timotheo alikuwa na kanisa alikuwa anahubiria lakini anamwambia Timotheo staki ukienda hapo kuhubiri ukae ni kama wewe ndiye bosi hapo no i want you to serve those people i want you to minister to these people mm-hmm. amen amen maana Paulo alikuwa ni mtumishi wa Mungu aliyekuwa na neema isiyo kwa ya kawaida haleluya amen ndio unaona after kuachana na akina uh, after kuja baada ya kina Petero Apostle Samuel alitembea na Jesus one on one. Paulo anakuja na another higher level of anointing. Baka uh-huh. anaandika barua kwa Wakorintho, Waromi, Waefeso, Wapilipi, akina nani wa Thessalonica, maana alikuwa na neema ya kuambia watu wawe na burden ya kusafu. Amen. Aliangalia kakuta hawa majamaa walinitangulia wako na kasumba ya kutumikiwa. Aha. Na ndio maana uliona in the book of Luke chapter 22 at least because of time lakini andika uone ukasome walifika mahali wakaanza kuuliza Yesu ni nani katikati yetu mkubwa kuliko mwingine they Aha. were looking for, for positions Aha. walikuwa wanatafuta positions bwana Yesu asifiwe Amen. Yesu akawaambia msishughulike na positions hapa kile mnafaa kutafuta kwanza ni kile mtalipo mkifika mbinguni na kile mtalipo ni kile mmefanyia kazi. Aha. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Amen. We have no time to look or to contend for positions in the ministry. Aha. No, we are here to serve. Amen. There somebody I am here to serve. I am here to serve. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Amen. It is a it is a it, this is the best time. Uh, wale viongozi ambao tumetunukiwa kuwa viongozi katika hii kanisa Aha. tunakuwa role models to the people who are following apostle. Amen. 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 Followers are very different from disciples. Amen. Oh, you are not getting me. Followers ndio wanatafuta Yesu wa kule mikate. Uh-huh. Lakini disciples wanaenda kuomba na Jesus. Amen. Akishika wanatembea kila mahali wanaenda lakini followers wanakuja wakati wa kukula peke yake. Aha. Uh-huh. Workers wanatembea na yeye kila mahali anatembea. Aha. Uh-huh. Akinunua mbloko wananunua block. Aha. Uh-huh. Akinyunyizia ukuta maji wananyunyizia na, because they are workers. Amen. May you receive grace to serve in Jesus name. Harisi. Na kuambiwa upokee neema ya kutumika na sio kutumikiwa. Harisi. Sema amina. Amina. Kwa hiyo Paulo alipofika kwa Wakorintho akakuta watu wamekaa church just to be served na hapo ndio akawaandikia maana alikaa nao chapter 1 chapter 2 3 4 7 9 10 10 akakuta hii kanisa hakuna mahali tutaenda uh-huh. akageuka sasa akawaambia chapter 11 of 1 Corinthians uh, verse 1 akawaambia follow me amen as i follow christ amen bibili ingine inasema kwamba imitate me amen as i imitate christ amen christ was a servant aha uh-huh. i am going to be a servant as well amen 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 kwa hivyo aligundua ya kwamba kanisa itakaa tu kanisa ambao haina mwelekeo kwa sababu ya watu kuja church wanakaa kutumikiwa ukiombewa leo kesho ombea mtu amen ay 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 Amen. 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 Ukitiwa moyo leo, enda ukatie mtu mwingine moyo. Amen. Ndio kanisa ipate kuwa na impact. Amen. Sema my father my God. My father my God. Give me grace to serve. Give me grace to serve. Anasemaje Kiswahili? Nigeni mimi. Nigeni mimi. Kama nami nilivyo mwinga Kristo. Kuiga ni kuimitate. Amen. If we are truly workers. Amen. If we are truly what? If we are truly what? Wakas. Wakas. Tutafanya kile tunaona baba yetu akifanya. Maana na yeye kuna mwingine ana imitate. Amen. Na sisi zote tuna imitate Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Christ mwenyewe anakaa na mitume anawaambia nataka kuwaosha miguu. Aha. He was a servant. Amen. He was not a boss. Aha. Hallelujah. Amen. May the grace to serve sit powerfully upon your life. Amen. Kama una habari kile tunatumikia Mungu hapa katika ufalme ndicho tutatokea kule mbinguni. Amen. Leave alone our own businesses. Uh-huh. Our own shambas. Uh-huh. Our own whatever we do at back at home. Uh-huh. Hiyo hakuna mahali itatokea. Hiyo itatulipa hapa duniani. Amen. Lakini kile tunatumika hapa kwa kingdom ya Mungu, uh-huh. unatumikia dada mwenzako, unatumikia mzee mwenzako, unatumikia mama mwenzako. Hiyo ndiyo itatokea kule juu mbinguni. Amen. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Amen. Lakini tukiingia hapa na mind nimekuja hapa nitabiriwe it's good to be prophesied to uh-huh. but it is also better to prophesy to others amen hallelujah 
Amen. It is good to be encouraged, but it is more better to encourage others. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Because we are not bosses, we are servants. Amen. Receive grace to serve in Jesus name. I receive. Philippians 3:17. An approved worker leads as an example. Anaongozanga kama mfano. Angojii asukumwe. No. Every moment anakaanga akijua all people are looking at me. Waone nitafanya nini ndio wanifuate. Amen. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Ndio Paulo anasema ya kwamba niliyesabu yale mambo yanaonekana faida ya kuwe ni bure kwa sababu ya Kristo. Amen. Kuna watu hawata hiyo koka mpaka sisi tubandilike. Amen. Amina zimepungua asubuhi ya Amen. Yu. Nasema naweza kuwa naongea na kamtuka moja. Aha. Lakini Yesu alisema watenda kazi ndio wachache. Amen. Ukiongezeka mtenda kazi mmoja kwa ufalme wa Mungu kazi inasonga mbele. Amen. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Amen. Kwa hivyo anasema ya kwamba yale mambo watu wana account hii ndio benefit. Yeye aliachana nayo na akaja kufanya kazi ya Mungu. Amen. See the impact of Apostle Paul. Amen. We want to feel your impact in the kingdom of God. Amen. Tell your neighbor I'm waiting for your impact. I'm waiting for you. Mwambie na ngojia kuona mvuto wako kwa injili. Na ngojia kuona mvuto wako kwa injili. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Amen. Church is becoming weaker and weaker every now and then because Amen. people are not ready to do something in the kingdom of God. Aha. Uh-huh. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Amen. Think of the messages that we have been preaching here years and years day after day every day hii madhabahu inahubiri kwa nini mtu asichukue hiyo injili na aende pale aatandike ka crusade ama uchukue hiyo injili uandike message utumie watu because Amen. we are looking we, we are, yani tumekaa kama we are here to be impacted not to, be, to impact others uh-huh. aha asifiwe amen mimi nilijiwekea task nilifundishwa na baba yangu wa kiroho kuandika message na kutumia watu Amen. And I've been encouraging people all over the world Amen. because I want to be impactful. I am a servant. I'm not a boss. Amen. May you receive the same grace in Jesus mighty name. Receive. Credit na haribu nyingi sana ya kupigia watu story tunaongea huku tunaongea. Hiyo credit convert ikuwa SMS reach to somebody somewhere amen people are waiting to hear your impact amen there are people we cannot impact but you can impact them amen that is what i'm calling an approved worker amen mtu ambaye kazi yake imejaribiwa na ikawekwa tick amen ukiona mtu anasinzia asubuhi ya leo jua yeye hajaitwa aha lakini yale wale ambao wameitwa utasikia wakipiga makofi kwa jesus hallelujah 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 inasema hivi philippians 3 verse 17 Join together in following my example. Amen. Brothers and sisters, and just as you have us as a model, keep your eyes on those who live as we do. Dugu zangu. Dugu zangu. Fuateni mfano wangu. Fuateni mfano wangu. Imitate me as I imitate Christ. Preach as I am preaching. Amen. Fast as I am fasting Amen. give as i am giving christianity is not christianity until it is practiced amen 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 wokovu sio wokovu mpaka ufanywe kuna kalimba tulikuwa tunaimba kitambo unasema ya kwamba wokovu sio maneno wokovu ni matendo amen fanya kitu mpaka watu waseme vile amefanya ameokoka amen vile ameongea ameokoka Amen. Are we together this morning? Yes. Are you being blessed? Yes. Someone say my father my God. My father my God. Give me grace to serve. Give me grace to serve. Hallelujah. Amen. In real sense, yule mtu ambaye hajafanya kazi kwa kampuni, huwa anaenda kuitisha mshahara? Ah uh-uh. ah. Mtu ni huyo hajafanya kazi kwa China, kule kwa wa China pale ile si si Arabi si si ara hiyo. Alafu anaenda hapo mshahara mwezi anasema nakujia mshahara atapigwa achikwe apelekwe polisi aambie huyo ni mwiti ni mwizi amekuja kuiba maana anadai mshahara ambao hajafanyia kazi uh-huh. some of us here Mungu ashatupitisha level ya waombaji wa kawaida kulia kila wakati no anataka to present case uh-huh. Mungu nimeombea huyu amepona amen mbona umenisahau amen. amen amen Mungu mimi nimeamka asubuhi ya leo nimehubiria more than 100 people Mungu usinisahau maana nimefanya kazi kuna watu wako hapa baraka zimekwama because they are dormant. Uh-huh. You are not a no, normal person. Amen. You are a worker. 
Amen. You are a servant of God. Amen. Angalia mtu mwambie mimi ni mtumishi wa Bwana. Mimi ni mtumishi wa Bwana. Now you know God cannot use you unless you realize who you are. Amen. In his kingdom. Amen. 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 Mungu ataanza kukulipa wakati utajua wow, mimi sio mtu wa kawaida, mimi ni mtendakazi. Mm. Utaanza kulipa matendo yako. Amen. 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 Kuna mtu anashindia kila wakati financial breakthrough. Mungu naomba Mungu anakuambia ubiria mtu mmoja aokoke. Pesa mm. itajileta. Mm-hmm. Amen. Amen. Kuna mtu ameokoka anashindia mashetani haitokangi kwake. Mungu anamwambia no, kemea mapepo iliyo ndani ya watu wengine ya kwako itatoka. Mm-hmm. Are we together this morning? Yes. Now I want you to have a mind of a servant of God. Amen. Ukiingia hapa apostle alisema ya kwamba this church is not for members. Mm-hmm. It is for disciples. Amen. It is for workers. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Now before the devil kicks you out, kick him out. Amen. Kabla shetani akutoe hapa wewe mtoe kabisa. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Kwa hivyo Paulo anamwambia kwamba jiunge na sisi. Aha. Uh-huh. Tumtumikie Bwana. Maana amegundua ya kwamba wale wanamtumikia Bwana ndio Mungu anajidhihirisha kwao. Amen. Someone say I am receiving grace. I am receiving grace. To serve. To serve. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Our approval on our assignment is based on who we follow, imitate and who we are loyal to. Amen. That is very important. Our approval on our assignment is based on who we follow. Amen. Amen. Who we imitate and who we are loyal to. Amen. Approval ya kile Mungu amekuitia itapimwa na unafuata nani? Uh-huh. Unaiga nani? Uh-huh. Na unashtii nani? Uh-huh. Amen. There is a very powerful statement apostle alikuwa na make. Na ikaninguza sana amekuwa akiongea na ninajua ni Mungu anaongea. Anasema ya kwamba a church can have 500 people but only 5 people are called or Amen. are born into that calling. Amen. Bwana Amen. If you are called into this if you are born into this calling ama this commission utasikia burden ile mtumishi wa Mungu ako nayo. Amen. Utasikia msukumo wa kufanya kile anafanya. Amen. Lakini ukiwa mtu wa kawaida hautakuwa na burden. Amen. Ninakuambia Mungu akuweke mzigo wa kutumika. Amen. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Amen. I don't imagine people who are being called to come maybe to attend lunch hour i'm just loitering somewhere i'm doing things which are not even adding value in my life lakini sina burden ya kuichochea madhabahu kama mtumishi wa Mungu uh-huh. amen amen ah pia nauliza i can just imagine people who are here working for god for example wana wanabeba mawe ama wanachimba msingi ama wanafanya tu project ya church i'm just folding my hands nina kiwacheki tu nasifanyi amen Amen. This church needs workers. Amen. Someone say I am a worker. I am a worker. Ukitaka kujua kama uko na burden ya 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 kazi ya Mungu, hata angalia wakati mhubiri anaombea ana watu hapa. Time ya deliverance. Utaona mtu ambaye si waka, si servant. Watu wa kawaida wa kiketi na yeye anachukua kiti anaketi. Na watu wanaelea kuombewa. Amen. Are we together this morning? Yes. Kuna mtu Mungu anataka kumondoa hapa akuwe mshale ya kiroho. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. That is the only way you can tap the grace upon the man of God. If you are supporting what he, what he is doing, you are being born in that anointing. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Akifukuza watu mapepo wewe sikaa. You are following him as he is following Christ. Amen. You are imitating him as he is imitating Christ. Amen. Unamuiga kile anafanya unafanya na yeye kiroho. Amen. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Amen. Somebody say my father my God. My father my God. Give me grace to serve. Give me grace to serve. I want to give you like four elements of an approved worker. Amen. Four elements. Vitu ambao utajua ya kwamba am I a worker or am I, I am a follower in the kingdom of God? Uh-huh. Four elements. Four elements of a, an approved worker. Utajuaje mimi nimeitwa kumtumikia Mungu? Maana mtu kuitwa na yeye kujua ameitwa ni vitu mbili tofauti. Amen. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Amen. Samuel alikuwa anakaa tu kanisani na Eli. Anaka hapo anasikia kume 5 anaenda anauliza Eli. Umeniita? Anambia bana sijakuita wacha ndoto. Rudi tu kalale. Uh-huh. Anaitwa na Mungu lakini ana but man ajui ku interpret. I want to give you some interpretations za kujua kwamba umeitwa ama hujaitwa. Are you ready for that? Yes. Kwa hivyo mara ya tatu alipoitwa Samuel uh, Eli akaelewa huyu jamaa ameitwa lakini hana habari. 
Uh-huh. Akampatia interpretation. Akamwambia utakaposikia hiyo sauti tena, sema Bwana niko hapa mtumishi wako. Amen. Ongea na mimi. Amen. Haleluya. Amen. How do you know that God has called you to be a worker and not a follower? Number one, When you have that willingness to serve. Amen. Willingness to serve. Kuna kitu ndani yako uwe na kumove. Utumiki ungoje yangi kufanywa vitu no. You are very happy when you are doing Amen. things to others. Amen. Unasikia kitu ndani yako inakusukuma inakwambia yes, sweep the church. Ah, usiende nyumbani kanisa ikiwa staff. Ah, osha. Ah, hizi viti zimewekwa vibaya, weka vizuri. Unasikia willingness to serve. Amen. Ukifika mahali kuna mkutano, wewe unaona I'm the right person to serve these people. Kila mahali unaenda unasikia ndani yako una hamu ya kutumika. Amen. Ah, wewe ni approved worker. Amen. And I'm telling you God is going to reward you. Amen. The word minister nimesema inamaanisha to serve. Hebu nisomee Colossians chapter 1 verse 24 and 25. Colossians 1 verse 24 to 25. Willingness to serve is a sign that you are a worker. You have been approved. God has chosen you. God has set you apart to become a minister. Amen. Willingness to serve. Colossians Amen. chapter 1 verse 24 to 25. Na sasa, aha, uh-huh. nafurahi kutesea kwa ajili kwa ajili yenu. Aha. Uh-huh. Maana kwa mateso yangu hapa duniani, aha, uh-huh. nasaidia ukamilisha kile nilicho fungu kile kile nilicho pungua bado katika mateso ya Kristo Aha. kwa ajili ya mwili wake mm. yaani kanisa mm. nami nimefanya kuwa mtumishi wa kanisa mimi nimefanya kuwa mtumishi eh unasikia vile anasema verse 25 wherefore whereof i was meant a minister nimesema the word minister in that scripture hapo inamaanisha i am meant a servant amen Amen. Amen. Whereof I was made a minister according to the dispensation of God which was given to me you are to fulfill the word of God. So everybody who is called to serve, who has a willingness to serve, has been called to fulfill a certain agenda in the kingdom of God. Amen. I pray and again I pray in the name of the Lord Jesus Amen. that the grace to serve Amen. may rest upon your life powerfully. Amen. I say I pray that the grace to serve may rest upon you powerfully. Amen. Some say my father my God. My father my God. Give me grace to serve. Give me grace to serve. You know wakati utakuwa na willingness to serve au utasukuma kwenda church au uh-huh. utasukuma kwenda HBC no uh-huh. kuna kitu itakuwa inakusukuma na kuambia wewe ndio unaenda kuimililia wewe ndio unaenda ku program wewe ndio unaenda kufanya one and two. Amen. Because only servants qualify for wages. Amen. Are you listening to me? Yes. Only servants qualify for wages. Ama wafanyikazi ndio huwa wanastahili kulipwa. Amen. Wale wafanyikazi hawastahili kulipwa. Mm-hmm. Umeniambia mtu akienda kwa kampuni adai mshahara na afanye kazi atashikwa na afungwe. Hivyo hivyo ndivyo kulivyo kwa Mungu. Amen. Amen. Kama hujafanya kazi na know the rewards ama the kile ambacho Mungu anakulipa ni good health. Amen. Mungu atakulipa uwe na amani. Amen. Mungu atakulipa akubariki na pesa. Amen. Mungu atakubariki akupatie akili nzuri. Amen. 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 Some say my father my God. My father my God. Give me grace to serve. Give me grace to serve. Amen. Amen. This is in the book of Mark 10:45. Mark 10 verse 45. Huyu ni Yesu anaongea. Yesu alikuwa anajaribu kufundisha mitume to be servants not to be bosses. Anasema hivi Mark chapter 10 verse number 45 for the son of man did not come to be served huyo ni Yesu anasema for the son of man did not come to be served kama Yesu hakuja kutumikiwa who am i who are you ungojea kutumikiwa aha amen amen anasema for the son of man did not come to be served but to serve amen That is why God glorified him. That is why walikuwa namwekea mitego amkamate anaepa. 
because yeye yeah, hakuwa anangojea atumikiwe no alikuja kuwatumikia na kwa sababu ya kuwatumikia mbingu ikamlipa protection amen some of you you need to serve god for your protection amen some of you you need to serve god for your promotion amen your amen is very weak today amen someone say my father my god my father my god give me grace to serve give me grace to serve i love this service is doing your best remember our foundation uh, scripture Second Timothy 2:15 Do your best. Amen. 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 Kama nikukuja church come earlier than others. Amen. 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 If it is praying pray more than the others. Amen. If it is giving give more than the others. Amen. I know I'm talking to somebody. Yes. May you become an approved worker after this service. Amen. May God prefer you better than others in Jesus name. Amen. Somebody say my father my God. My father my God. Give me grace to serve. Give me grace to serve. Luke 22 verse 24 to 30. Hapo ndiyo unapata ile story ya wanaume mitume wa Yesu wanabishana who is bigger between ama among us ni nani mkubwa katikati yetu when you go in a meeting na unapata watu wanapigania vyeo basi hao si servants mhm haleluya amen hebu nisome hiyo story ndiyo tupate mwelekeo vizuri Luke chapter 22 verse 24 to 30 Somebody say my father my redeemer. My father my redeemer. Give me grace to serve. Give me grace to serve. Aha. Kulitokea ubishi kati ya hao watume. Kulitokea ubishi kati ya mitume. Kuhusu nani miongoni mwa anayefikiriwa kuwa mkuu. Wakati utasikia friction katika viongozi, ujue sasa wameacha kuwa watenda kazi, wanataka kuwa maboss. Amen. Hawa ni mitume wanatembea na Yesu wamesahau ya kwamba wao wameitwa na Yesu watumike pamoja na yeye wanaanza kuulizana ni nani mkubwa katikati yetu atuko kwa kingdom ya Mungu kuangalia ni nani mkubwa no we are here to serve amen 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 haleluya amen are we together yes if you are being blessed clap for jesus haleluya if you are not being blessed also clap for jesus okay we are together now endelea hapo kukawa na ubishi katikati ya mitume wakiulizana ni nani mkubwa katikati yetu aha kulitokea ubishi kati ya wapa kati ya wao mtume kuhusu nani miongoni mwao anafikiriwa kuwa mkuu kuliko wengine aha Yesu akawaambia mm. wafalme wa mataifa utawala watu wao kwa mabafu aha nao uitwa wabadili wa watu Aha. lakini isiwe hivyo kati yenu lakini isiwe hivyo kati yenu bali bali yu, yule aliye mkuu kati yenu lazima awe mdogo kwa yule wote yule anaona kama ni mkubwa awe mdogo na aliye kiongozi Yesu asifiwe amen there is a very powerful secret in service amen bwana Yesu asifiwe amen actually for god to lift you For God to advance you from one level of anointing to another, huwa anaangalia your level of service. Aha. Uh-huh. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Amen. Wale tuko hapa tunataka kutembea na neema iliyo na, na baba yetu. Usitamani sana kukaa kupokea no, anza kufanya kazi. Amen. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Amen. Kuna sababu kubwa sana ya, ya Mungu kuchukua kuchukua mtu anaitwa Joshua achukue nafasi ya Moses. Uh-huh. Aliangalia nini? Aliangalia the quality of service which Joshua gave to Moses. Mm-hmm. Mm. Amen. Elijah for his position to be taken by Elisha. Elisha served Elijah for 24 good years. Amen. 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 Elisha ndio apate double portion. Aikuja automatically no he served. Your promotion is hidden in your service. Amen. That is a very bitter truth. Amen. 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 Kwa advance kwako kiroho kumefichwa katika kutumika. Amen. If you are not serving there is no promotion. Amen. Are we together? Yes. That's why the Bible says in the book of Corinthians I don't know 13 ama chapter 13 verse 3 ama chapter 3 verse 13 Corinthians either first or second. Inasema ya kwamba the works of every man shall be tested. Not the prayer not the giving but the works amen. of every man shall be tested with fire amen kazi ya kila mtu itapimwa na moto amen so kama ufanyi kazi kwa Mungu hauna mahali pa kupimiwa 
Amen. Na kwa nini inapimwa ndio alipwe? Amen. Ambia mtu na mimi nitamtumikia Mungu. Mimi nitamtumikia. Ukiona mtu akuangalia shi wachana na yenge, ukia mwingine kuna watu wanakuanga na kisirani asubuhi, wanaamganga saa 5 tukienda mbele. Ambia mtu mimi ni mtendakazi. Mimi ni mtendakazi. Steve Narunga God bless you so much for tuning in. Kwa hivyo tukienda kanisani, twende na mind ya kwamba si mambo nani mkubwa a a. Nani ako na nafasi ya kutumika? Amen. 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 Nilikuwa nasema siku nyingine hata mimi ningekuwa sio pasta katika hii kanisa kuna masaa siwezi ingia kanisani. Mm-hmm. Hata kule kwa ndini tulikuwa tunaenda kuna masaa singeingia church. Uh-huh. Na ikipita afadhali nikae nyumbani. I was not I sikuwa na imagine saa ile pasta amesimama mimi ndio naingia. I couldn't imagine that. Uh-huh. Amen. Amen. Actually my father although nilikuwa napewa sadaka alikuwa ananipatia mbao na mwambia siwezi tolea Mungu shilingi shilingi. Uh-huh. Baka na nipatia 50. Amen. 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 Mimi nilijua kazi yangu inapimwa. Kuna siku itafika ipimwe. Amen. Hiyo level nilikuwa ni ya kuitisha. Lakini sasa sio siko level ya kuitisha. Uh-huh. Niko level ya kutumikia Mungu na kile niko nacho. Amen. Na hesabuwa sina pesa lakini si masaa pia nimpatie Mungu. Amen. Haleluya. Amen. Bwana Yesu apewe sifa. Amen. Now followers they are just uh, wengine ndio wanaamka, wanakunywa chai, nasema najua ibada ya pili za tano hivi na amekuwa hapo nyumbani from monday to yesterday saturday uh-huh. lakini one day na yeye anaingia hata angalia tu wale wanafikanga church mapema ndio wanaondokanga late amen. amen amen na wale wanakuja late ndio wanaondokanga mapema uh-huh. because they are not chosen amen thank god you are chosen amen unaona hao watu wanakuja mapema ndio utaona wakiwa na mind to wash a church Let me tell you your reward is very great. Amen. Zawadi yako ni kubwa sana. Amen. Unaweza kosa kuiona saa hii but be patient. Amen. Wait upon the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Sema my father my God. My father my God. Give me grace to serve. Give me grace to serve. Never serve for people to recognize you. Uh-huh. No. Just serve for God. Amen. To honor you. Amen. Endelea hiyo uone vile waliambiwa. Lakini isiwe hivyo kati yenu. Aha. Bali mm-hmm. yule aliyemkuu kati yenu ni lazima awe mdogo wa wote. Aha. Na aliye kiongozi lazima awe kama mtumishi. Aha. Kwa maana na aliye mdogo miongoni mwenu awe kama nini? Mtumishi. That's why if you are very observant in this church the so called leaders in this church they are more servants than the people who come to be ministered to. Amen. 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 Wacha niongee kwa lugha ambayo tunaelewana. Nasema wale viongozi wa hii kanisa ndio utaona wako na muziki wa kutumika hapa kuliko wale ambao tumekuja kuhudumia. Amen. For example utakunda kiongozi saa kumi na moja alikuwa church. Amen. Yule alikuja kuhudumia na ndiye ako na kichwa ngumu. Anaambiwa inua mikono tuombe ana kucheki tu hivi. Amen. Amen. Pigia Yesu makofi anaangalia hivi. Lakini wale ambao wako na hiyo kitu utaona wao they are more like servants. Amen. I like that level. Amen. Ndio unaona wanachukua fagio zao wanafagia church. Unaona wako na burden ya wanaangalia compound ya church vile ilivyo. Wanakuta vitu zimeachilia huko. Unaona wanapanga panga watu wa aina hiyo si watu wa kawaida. Amen. Mungu amewateua. Amen. Na wacha ni kuhakikishia kwamba mtu wa aina hiyo ako na thawabu kubwa kwa Mungu. Amen. Ako na zawadi kubwa kutoka kwa Mungu. Amen. Sema my father my God. My father my God. Give me willingness to serve. Give me willingness to serve. Mungu akupatie roho ya kutumika. Na hiyo roho ikiwa ndani yako utakuwa unasikia kitu kinakuambia if you don't do who are you waiting to do? Uh-huh. Kama wewe ufanye nani atafanya? Aha. Uh-huh. Anaswa Amen. Somebody say willingness to serve. Willingness to serve. Endelea. Kwa maana mm-hmm. inani aliye mkuu mm. yule anayeketi mezani kula chakula uh-huh. ama yule anayemtumikia. Yes, sikia hapo. Je, hata ukienda kwa hoteli unaenda kukaa pale unangojia chakula. Yule anakuletea chakula na wewe unanunua chakula, unaweza fikiria wewe unanunua chakula wewe ndiye mkubwa. Lakini yule mkubwa ni yule alikipika. Amen. Maana huwezi kula pesa. Amen. 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 Kwa hiyo Yesu anawaambia yule anakaa kwa meza si ye mkubwa, yule Amen. anatumika, anatumwa maji analeta. Anaendea chumvi, huyo ndiye mkubwa. Amen. Ah. Amen. Because yeye ndiye ataachiwa pesa. Aha. Alifanya kazi na baadaye analipwa. 
Amen. May God give you willingness to serve. Amen. Mungu akupatie neema ya kutumika. Amen. Mungu anataka kukuzawadi mambo makubwa. Amen. Ni vile hauna mind ya kwamba umechaguliwa na umewekwa muhuri wa kutumika. Amen. Inua mkono juu sema my father my God. My father my God. Give me grace to serve. Give me grace to serve. You see tukiingia kanisani watu 20 tukiwa na that mind. Aha. Uh-huh. The church will be vibrate. Yaani itakuwa eh itakuwa itakuwa kanisa ambao inatembea in, ina move. Amen. Lakini tukiingia watu 20 na tunaangaliana. Amen. Amen. At HBC tulikosa mtu wa kutubiria na you are there. Aha. Uh-huh and you are you are approved uh-huh. as a worker amen who is not a, supposed to be ashamed uh-huh. next time kusikosekane muhubiri hbc ukiwa hapo amen hata shuleni watoto mnarudi kusikosekane mtu akuhubiri siyo ukiwa hapo amen simama hapo chapa injili amen you are a work a servant of god amen some say my father my god my father my god give me grace to serve give me grace to serve sometimes we nange lunch hour sio kwa sababu wewe ni muhubiri no but in a case yule mhubiri akose kukuja wewe uhubiri amen ah amen bwana yesu asifiwe amen yes that's why mimi sikosangi lanjawa uh-huh. na ndio maana hakuna mmoja inakosa kuhubiriwa maana yule alikuwa ahubiri akiwa hayuko i am ready amen. to be used any time amen may you become a servant Amen. That willingness to pour yourself to people, hiyo ndiyo Mungu anataka. Amen. Because a servant is ready to pour himself or herself to people. Amen. Anasema ya kwamba nimetoa maisha yangu kama divai uh-huh. ya kulewesha watu wa Mungu. Amen. We want to come to that level. Amen. Tufike mahali mpaka una miss nitapewa opportunity nini ya kuimba ni mimine roho yangu kwa watu. Amen. Walewe na roho mtakatifu. Amen willingness to serve that is element number 1 ya kwamba umeitwa amen hallelujah amen number 2 willingness to suffer for your assignment amen willingness to suffer for your assignment amen. it is an indicator that you are an approved worker amen unataka kuteseka kwa sababu ya kazi ambayo Mungu amekupatia amen unasema go kanjua nikakali Nitaenda kanzani lazima nichukue hiyo media. Amen. 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 I'm ready to suffer. Nitoke hapa late lakini kanisa ikuwe iko safi. Amen. Willingness to suffer for your assignment. Amen. It is a proof ya kwamba uh, it is a sign ya kwamba you have been approved to be a worker. Amen. But you see wale watu ambao they are they are fearful. Wanaangopa hii nitachelewa hapo. Eh hey, nimechoka. Eh hey, hii wanachoka katikati ya kazi ya Mungu they are not ready to suffer even they are not ready to give whatever they have for the kingdom of god uh-huh. umesikia mtumishi wa Mungu anasema ya kwamba alichukua loan akanunua shamba ya church amen ako tayari kusafa amen. the consequences of borrowing amen but assignment ya Mungu iendelee amen amen Amen. Someone say my father my God. My father my God. Give me grace to serve. Give me grace to you serve. You see hii kitu inataka willingness. Uh-huh. Yaani si kusukumwa. Ah uh-uh. Approved mtu ambaye ameitwa na Mungu asukumangwi. Uh-huh. Unaona hii wimbo ya saa zote viongozi wasikosekana ibada. Viong... No. Kama umeitwa na Mungu utasikia msukumo kwa saa zote kusukumwa no. Kuna kitu ndani yako itakuwa inakwambia I am supposed to be there. Amen. Na nikikosekana nani atakuweko? Amen. Willingness to serve. Biashara yako ufunge lakini ukue kwa assignment ile umeitiwa na Mungu. Amen. Haleluya. Amen. Nasema haleluya. Amen. Marafiki wa kuache lakini ubaki kwa assignment yako. Yes. Be ready to suffer. Amen. For your assignment. Amen. Paulo alitandikwa akasema no, munitandike msinitandike assignment yangu ni kuhubiri nitahubiri. Amen. Haleluya. Amen. Someone say my father my redeemer. My father my redeemer. Help me. Help me. To understand my calling. To understand my calling. Colossians 1:24 inasema even now I rejoice in the midst of my sufferings on your behalf. Huyu ni Paulo anaongea na kanisa la Corinthians la Colossae. Anamwambia hata saa hii niko tayari kuteseka kwa sababu yenu, kwa niaba yenu. Amen. Which is a mad against the pastors of this church uh-huh. just because of the people we minister to them. Amen. 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 But we are ready to suffer. Amen. Lakini assignment yetu isimame. Amen. 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 Ukiona waimbaji wameanza kwenda chini, 
safa jitese jikataze chakula jikataze maji uombe waimbaji wacha kuwasema amen yes that is the heart of a servant amen amen Amen. Ukiona mtu amelegea kwa assignment, wacha kumsengenya no. Kama umeitwa cha ukweli, safa pray for that person. Amen. That is the heart of a servant. Amen. Someone say my father my God. My father my God. Give me grace to serve. Give me grace to serve. Lakini utabata ya kwamba in the church we are killing each other. Uh-huh. Because we don't have the spirit of a servant. Uh-huh. Amen. Amen. Unasikia mtu kanisani amefanya kitu the first people to kick that person out ni wale walikuwa wanafanya kazi na yeye because they don't have a heart uh-huh. of a servant uh-huh. mchungaji ukienda in ibrew ibrew tradition na hao Jews huko tu Yesu anafundisha hiyo parable ya mtu alikuwa na kondomu ya moja na anapoteza moja Uh-huh. Na anaacha 99 ambazo ndiyo valuable anaenda kutafuta moja. Amen. A heart of a servant. Amen. Utaacha watu 20 uende mmoja hakuja service. Amen. Utafunga kwa sababu ya mtu mmoja tu amelegea kwa kazi ya Mungu. Amen. Ukifika hiyo level jua you are approved work. Amen. Are we talking this morning? Yes. Unajua kanisa tukiwa na watu aina hiyo hakuna mahali utaona shake up kanisani. Uh-huh. Lakini problem ni kwamba sisi ndio tunarushiana mao. Aha. Uh-huh. Amen. Amen. Na wale ambao si workers wanakujanga kupomoa wale wengine. Aha. Ni utaona wakisema anapendanga sana kujipendekeza. Si kujipendekeza I'm serving my friend. Amen. Mimi sijipendekeza I'm serving. Amen. Angalia mtu mwambie si kujipendekeza I am serving. Si kujipendekeza I am serving. Ah, I think this message is for people who are online. Oh. Amen. Amen. Mimi nakupatia siri ya kuinuliwa na Mungu. Amen. Tumika. Amen. Usitake kutumikiwa no tumika. Amen. Utaona tu unaanza pole pole tu hata bila kungangana ana without many prayers. Aha. Utaanza kuona tu una because you are ready to pour yourself to other people. Amen. Anasema ya kwamba even now I rejoice in the midst of my sufferings. Mimi nafurahia katikati ya mateso yangu. Aha. Kwa niaba yenu. Amen. No, at the sake of sababu yake no because of others. Amen. 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 Some say my father my God. My father my God. Give me grace to serve. Give me grace to serve. Sika mmoja fika mahali ukafuliza. Aha. Uh-huh. Ufanye kazi ya Mungu. Aha. Uh-huh. Lakini kuna mtu anafuliza afanye shopping ya nyumba yake. Aha. Uh-huh. Kama hujafika hiyo level ya kufuliza kwa kazi ya Mungu. Wewe si mtumishi wa Mungu. Wewe uh-huh. ni mfuasi wa Mungu. Aha. Uh-huh. Amen. Amen. They had they are they are this kitambo sana tukiwa old building nilikuwa na kopa mama fulani sadaka kila weekend maana najaribu kuuliza even though nitaomba kila mtu ameomba amen amen nita dance pale kila mtu ame dance lakini tukifika masaa ya kuinua madhabahu nitafanya ninasema afadhali nikope lakini ibada yangu ikamilike amen Hallelujah. Amen. Someone say my father my redeemer. My father my redeemer. Give me grace to serve. Give me grace to serve. John 15 verse 20. John 15 verse 20. Inasema hivi. Remember what I told you. A servant is not greater than his master. If they persecuted me, they will persecute you also. If they obeyed my teaching, they will obey you as also. Yesu anaambia mitume ya kwamba let me tell you guys kama watu i suffered nikiwa ninahubiri habari za ufalme uh-huh. hata nyinyi be ready to suffer amen kuna watu wanakujanga kanisani hawataki kurushiwa mawe hawataki uh-huh. kusemanishwa na Yesu hawataki uh-huh. kusemanishwa na watumishi wa Mungu utasemwa sana if you are not ready for that you are not a servant uh-huh. anawaambia kama mimi nilirushiwa mawe Uh-huh. hata nyinyi mtarushiwa amen lakini kuna watu wanafanyanga kazi wakiogopa nitasemwa aje kama unaongopa kusemwa basi hakuna mahali unaenda uh-huh. amen amen kuna msemo mmoja tulikuwa naambiwa ya kwamba mtoto ambaye anaendelea kukua ni lazima asemwe amen mwana ukuyana ndaye ma kuwetwa amen 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 so you if you want to know whether you are growing mm-hmm. listen to the rumors amen. outside there Amen. If you want to know this ministry is growing, listen to the persecution outside there. Amen. Utajua hawa ni watu wameshikilia kile wameitiwa. Amen. Amen. 
Amen. Lakini kama wewe ni mtu ati ukisemwa unajua njana alimba kama punda anaacha mic. Mm-hmm. Uko mbali sana kutumiwa na Mungu. Uh-huh. Enda hapo imba jana ulimba kama punda leo imba kama kondoo. Uh-huh. Lakini katalia kwa assignment. Suffer because of that. Amen. One day God will make you an approved worker. Amen. Some say my father my God. My father my God. I am ready to suffer. I am ready to suffer for my assignment. For my assignment. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Suffer and seek the in interest of others first. Watumishi huwa wanataka kuona interest ya watu wengine imekuwa met. Aha. Uh-huh. Fast. Aha. Uh-huh. Bwana Yesu apewe sifa. Amen. Yaani ukiwa sawa ndio utatamani tu kuona mtu anasema ya kwamba oi we are here. You see servants concentrate but followers they are diverted every. <laughs> Some say my father my God. My father my God. Help me to understand this teaching. Help me to understand this teaching. Servant ana concentrate. Ndio anasema ya kwamba mtu ambaye anashika mlao. Mhm. Na anaangalia kando mm-hmm. astahili kushika mlao. Aha. Uh-huh. Amen. Amen. Sasa ukiona mtu tuko church anaangalia nani anaingia, anamwangalia amevalia nini, uh-huh. nywele amebadilisha ama huyo sio mtu ameitwa. Uh-huh. Hallelujah. Amen. Pigia Yesu makofi mazuri. Hallelujah. Hiyo sio makofi hiyo. Hiyo makofi iko na Hallelujah. So mtu ambaye ameitwa kutumika huwa uh-huh. moyo wake unaridhika sana uh-huh. wakati mahitaji ya wengine yametimizwa. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Nasema haleluya. Amen. Unachanganya sana kanzani unasikia for example ni mfano tu natoa na sisemi mtu uh-huh. na kama nitakusema tengeneza mienendo. Amen. Hadi kanzani unasikia viongozi wanashindania chakula. Uh-huh. Hata wanakula na wengine hawajakula. Aha. Uh-huh. Ana moyo ya sasa nikimaliza na so and so, yani hataki, anataka yeye me fast. Aha. Uh-huh. No, it is good to treat yourself fast. Aha. Uh-huh. But mm, mm, Just care about the others. Amen. Mind about the others. Amen. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Amen. Yes, wakati alikuwa anawafundisha suffering because of others. Uh-huh. Alileta mikate. Aha. Uh-huh. Mitume ndio hawana chakula lakini anaambia no, watu kwanza wakule. Aha. Uh-huh. Wakishiba ndio mtakula. Aha. Uh-huh. Lakini kanzani haiko hivyo. <laughs> Unajua viongozi kwanza maana watu hawajafundishwa kuongoza ni nini. Aha. Uh-huh. Amen. Amen. Unasikia anga pale mkate wangu slice moja haiko. Nani amekula ni so and so. Unashindwa huyu kwani amekula ila yake na akafikia mwingine. Yesu aliwafundisha akawaambia watu wanakula kwanza ile imebaki sisi ndio tutakula. Kama unabarikiwa pigia Yesu makofi mazuri. Haleluya. Na hapo ndio tunakoseneanga na Mungu tu. Unajua? Aha. Apostle anasemanga ndio Mungu akuwekee tick. Aha. Anaangalianga tu vitu twingi sana. Aha. Amen. Amen. Yesu tuvitu unaonanga maina maina tu ah, unajua huko ni jikoni kuna moshi Mungu hayuko. Medo ma yao ameke laban. Amen. Hata kwa choo iko. Uh-huh. Kiongozi anaenda anafanya takataka hapo kando, Mungu anaangalia anasema you don't qualify. Aha. Uh-huh. Kwa sababu ya kunini tu kando. Aha. Uh-huh. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Amen. Kuna point iko hapo chini. Sema my father my god. My father my god. Help me. Help me to become a servant. To become a servant. Servants serve in secret. Uh-huh. Matthew 6:2 to 3. Matthew 6 verse 2 to 3. Viongozi ama watenda kazi ni watu ambao wanapenda kufanya vitu behind the scenes. Amen. Hapo tu hawataki kuonekana. Ndio maana Yesu aliwaambia kwamba mkitaka kuomba jifungie kwa kanyumba vibrate hapo amen vibrate msiwe kama mafarisayo wanasimama of course Yesu ndio maana si ambao Yesu tuona ah uh-uh. si nusiombe Yesu anena anena na parables amen haleluya amen so it is for you to ask the spirit of god what is the secret behind this parable amen haleluya amen wakati unasikia Yesu anasema na mpanzi alipanda begu si shamba no ni the word inaachiliwa kwa mioyo ya watu amen kwa hiyo hapo anaongea saa hii pia ni parable Matthew 6 verse 2 and 3. Basi uh-huh. unapomsaidia maskini unapomsaidia maskini usijitangaze usiende ukisema mimi ndio nilimsaidia usifanye kama wanapiki wanapofanya katika masinagogi Don't do like the hypocrites. Bila wanafanya katika masinagogi na njiani ili watu wawasifu ndio watu wawasifu. There are many people who are crippling themselves in the ministry uh-huh. just because of desiring approval from men. Aha. Uh-huh. 
Haleluya. Amen. Watu kanzani wasema nataka nifike hapo mapema ndio. Na mimi nimeona wengi hapo. Aha. May this message change you. Amen. It's not about men, it's about God. Amen. Haleluya. Amen. Hapo chini anasema ya kwamba naye yule ambaye ana anawaona ana mnamtumikia kwa siri atawalipa kwa wazi i think ni hapo verse 3 buangalie hiyo scripture kama iko hapo ah ah someone say my father my god my father my god give me grace to serve give me grace to serve kama iko hapo twende philippians philippians ah uh, 2 verse 4 philippians chapter 2 verse 4 inasema ya kwamba verse 3 inaanza hivi Philippians chapter 2 verse 3 Do nothing out of the selfish ambition or vain conceit rather in humility value others above yourselves verse 4 not looking to your own interests but each of you to interest of each other Msifanye chochote kwa moyo wa fitina. Usifanye njambo kwa moyo wa fitina. There are people who serve God ndio wapiganishe wengine. Haonekane huyo hiyo position awezi. Aha. Uh-huh. Au kwa majivuno ya bure. Ama kwa majivuno ya bure. Mu, muwe na unyenyekevu. Lakini mkifanya mfanya kwa unyenyekevu, hiyo ndio secret. Sasa fanya mambo ni kama hutaki kuonekana na mtu. Nyinyi kwa nyinyi. Aha. Uh-huh. Na kila moja mwenye na kila na kila moja mm-hmm. amona mwenzake kuwa bora kuliko yeye mwenyewe. Yes, yes. Teach you as you as a servant seeing good things in others. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Kuna macho ambao hayonangi kitu kizuri ndani ya watu. Amen. Inaonanga tu kitu kibaya. Uh-huh. Mtu aina hiyo hawezi tumiwa na Mungu. Amen. Maana church is not for perfect people. Ephesians 4 10:11 inasema ya kwamba amepatiana mitume makuani a ah, ma, uh, prophets teachers evangelists and pastors to perfect amen kwa hivyo ukiona mtu ambaye anaonanga weakness ya watu za zote wiki sio servant uh-huh. anasema ya kwamba muwe na humility as you serve each others in rest amen verse number 5 in your relationship with one another have the same mindset Amen. as Jesus Christ. Amen. Mindset yetu iwe ni kwamba tunamtumikia Mungu. Amen. Sio mwanadamu. Aha. Uh-huh. Sema Bwana Yesu. Bwana Yesu. Nisaidie. Nisaidie. Kupokea ujumbe huu. Kupokea ujumbe huu. Katika jina la Yesu. Katika jina la Yesu. If you are being blessed clap for Jesus. Hallelujah. If you are not being blessed clap for Jesus. Good, that is very good. God bless you. Number three, element number three, willingness to teach others. Uh-huh. Willingness to teach others. Uh-huh. Nasema willingness, willingness maana si kitu ya kusukuma no, ni kitu inatoka ndani yako. Amen. Study to show yourself approved. Amen. A workman who does not uh, who is not ashamed. Willingness to teach others. Let people know what you know. Mhm. Amen. Let people know what makes you to outstand. Amen. Usikue wale watu ambao kama sana sana kuna mashetani na ingianga wachezaji vyombo kanisani. Aha. Uh-huh. Anasema sasa taenda wasikie hivyo na hatuwezi sikia. Aha. Uh-huh. Ha, hatuwezi sikia. As long as ni kazi ya Mungu, hatuwezi sikia. Aha. Uh-huh. Wanaweza wasifiwe? Amen. Sitaenda kwa Mike nisikie leo vile wataimba wa. wa. Eh. Hiyo roho uko nayo si ya mtendakazi wa Mungu. Aha. Uh-huh. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Amen. Willingness to teach others what you know. Amen. Kuna mtu anaweza akatuambia, ni vipi unatengenezanga message? Uh-huh. Ni vipi unatumiwa na Mungu? Aha. Uh-huh. Because he or she is not a servant. Aha. Uh-huh. But thank God because in this ministry, in the, especially in this church, Amen. we teach about secrets. Amen. How God can use you from nothing to something. Amen. How God can uh, make you to be an outstanding person. Amen. May this teaching change your life in Jesus mighty name. Amen. So we be willing to teach others what you know. Amen. Usikue tu unataka kupiga yango makofi unajua kitambo mimi nilikuwa na hiyo spirit. Uh-huh. Nilikuwa tu nachelewa ibada tu nikute kwaya wako hapo wanaimba wakipiga kandra maana mimi ndio kucheza. 
Ah. Iwe ni keyboard, iwe ni gita. Mimi ndio nilikuwa star. Kwa hiyo ah. nilikuwa na sometimes naenda tu mang'a mang'a tu. Ndio wajua ya kwamba kuna kitu niko nayo. Aha. Kumbe ilikuwa ni ujinga. Aha. Weka mkono kwa kitu asema roho ya kiburi. Roho ya kiburi. Shetani ya kiburi. Shetani ya kiburi. Niachilie by fire. Niachilie by fire. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Na hiyo kitu inatangwa na kiburi. Kuna mtu tu afanye ndio amusikie hivyo. Aha. Unajua hatutasikia wewe ndio utaendelea kujikula. Aha. Kiburi inakulanga ina mwenyewe. Ndio Biblia inasema ya kwamba pride comes before oh. Hallelujah. Amen. If you are not willing to teach others what you know, you are not a good servant. Aha. Wewe sio mtumishi mzuri. Bwana Yesu apewe sifa. Amen. Inasema hivi Colossians 1 verse 28. Him we preach and proclaim warning and admonishing everyone and instructing everyone in all wisdom that we may present every person mature and perfect in Christ Colossians 1:28 him we preach and proclaim warning and admonishing everyone and instructing everyone in all wisdom that we may present every person mature and perfect now This is another level now. Amen. There are people who are given that duty to teach. Aha. Uh-huh. And there are others given the duty to learn. Amen. 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 We have teachers and we have learners. Amen. Now the big problem is in the learners. Aha. Uh-huh. Because they are being taught, they are not ready to learn. Aha. Uh-huh. Anasema ya kwamba tumehubiri injili ya Kristo. Tumenena kwa watu kwa ufasao. Uh-huh. tukawafundisha na tukawakemea uh-huh. na tukawapatia mwelekeo ndio tulete kila mtu awe amekamilika katika Kristo amen bwana yesu asifiwe amen shida iko hapo wakati tunaanza kufundisha watu wakati tunaanza kuambia mtu acha hii fanya hii anakadhirika anaacha church uh-huh. no no hiyo sio hiyo hiyo blame is not on our side uh-huh. it is on those people who are not ready to be corrected Aha. Uh-huh. Bible says that the word of God is there to correct, to rebuke, amen, and to warn. Amen. 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 Mtu mzuri anataka kukua, huwa anapenda kukemewa. Aha. Uh-huh. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Amen. Na kuna mahali Bible inasema maana, unajua Biblia is very balanced. Amen. 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 Uloka na wakengi na ndewa. Usino tanamu. Amen. Yaani Biblia ni kitu kingine ya ajabu sana. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Amen. Inasema mtu apewe correction. Anapewa mara ya pili. Ikifika ya tatu nasiki, wachana na yeye ni mnyama. Aha. Uh-huh. Siku na scripture inasema hivyo. Yes. Ulole au kanyo na tanyao. He who devise rebuke is a cow. Is a donkey. Is an elephant. Is a buffalo in the church. So we have buffaloes, elephants, cheetahs, snakes, cockroaches, hyenas, monkeys in the church. Some say my father my god. My father my god. Give me a teachable spirit. Give me a teachable spirit. Wakati unasikia Biblia inasema ya kwamba study. The word study means sit down, get into a lesson. Amen. Be ready to learn that lesson. Amen. 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 Study. Kaa chini fundishwa na uchukue hiyo mafundisho. Ndio hiyo mafundisho ikiwekwa kwako kuna vitu itakwambia fanya na zingine usifanye. Amen. Kama ulienda shule ukaambiwa 1 plus 1 is 2. Aha. Uh-huh. Na ukakataa. Alafu uende kwa mtihani uambiwe 1 plus 1 uweke 3. Utapata mmoja utakosea. Utakosea. Yes. Kwa hivyo kwa Mungu iko hivyo. Aksema do this and don't do this. Uh-huh. When you do what you have not been allowed to do. Sasa hapo umeharibu kila kitu. Amen. Basi kama umeambiwa fundisha watu. Aha. Uh-huh. Wafundishe. Aha. Uh-huh. Wakubali ama wakatae. Uh-huh. Mungu alimwambia Ezekiel. Mchungaji akiona hatari inakuja kwa kondoo. Aha. Uh-huh. Anafaa kuambia kondoo mjifiche kuna hatari. Aha. Uh-huh. Kondoo akikosa kujificha na hatari na akuliwe uh-huh. mchungaji hata ulizwa. Aha. Uh-huh. Lakini akimwambia haya kuna hatari inakuja na ajifiche. Uh-huh. Akose kukuliwa. 
ama aone hatari na akose kumwambia jifiche na akuliwe damu ya hiyo hiyo kondoo itaulizwa mchungaji aha sasa kanisani we preach the message Amen. and we let the condos receive it or reject it aha wale wataipokea watanusurika aha wale wataiachilia wataangukiwa na mitego aha sema my father my god my father my god give me willingness to learn Give me willingness to learn. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. First Peter 4:10 inapomalizia. First Peter 4 verse 10 to 11. Am I blessing somebody? Yes. Are you being blessed? Yes. Are you sure? Yes. If you are sure you are being blessed, sinisikie makofi ya Yesu Kristo. Hallelujah. Becoming an approved worker. First Peter chapter 4 verse 10 to 11. Kila mmoja anapaswa kutumikia kipanja alichojaliwa uh-huh. na Mungu kwa faida ya wengine. Yes. Kila mtu atumikishe kipaji alichopewa na Mungu kwa faida ya wengine. Hiyo ndiyo sasa unapewa platform ya fundisha mtu kile unajua. Amen. Usikatalie hapo. Amen. Ukue you are the champion huku, wewe ndio hero, ukiwa huko things cannot move forward. Endelea. Kila mmoja anapaswa kutumia kipande alichojaliwa na Mungu Aha. kwa faida ya wengine Aha. kama wakili mwema wa zawadi mbalimbali za Mungu mm-hmm. anayesema kitu mm. maneno yake na yawe kama maneno ya Mungu mm-hmm. anayemtumikia anapaswa kutumikia kwa nguvu aliyojaliwa na Mungu mm. ili katika mambo yote Mungu atukuze kwa njia ya Yesu Kristo mm. ambayo tukufu na nguvu ni vyake milele na milele. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Amen. Kwa hivyo when you are serving your fellow person mtumikie ni kama unatumikia Mungu. Usitumike ni kama unatumikia mwanadamu. Aha. Uh-huh. Willingness to teach others what you know. Ufundishe tu mwambie kuna masaa inafikanga mtu ana, anaenda fasting. Uhum. Kuna masaa inafikanga mtu anaacha mambo yake anaenda kwa Mungu. Unasikianga hapa tukiambiwa kila wakati, kila wiki tunakuanga na kazi ya kufanya. Amen. Tunafundishwa kutumikia Mungu maana tutalipwa kama tumetumikia Mungu. Amen. Last and not the least. Element number four ya kujua kwamba you are an approved worker. I have discipline. The Amen. reason why we are called disciples is because of the discipline of Christ. Amen. Discipline is having self control. Kuna watu hawana self control. Akikazirika anaweza sema anything. Uh-huh. Anything. Discipline is the conduct how you conduct yourself. Amen. Kuna watu ambao they are they don't have conduct when they are serving God. Kuna watu ambao una, unajua Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Amen. This point I want to talk is very important. Ukiona mtu analala ujue ni mashetani ya kiukoo imemfuata kanisani. Uh-huh. Sema my father my god. My father my god. Teach me to have self control. Teach me to have self control. To have discipline. To have discipline. To have discipline is to act in accordance. Uh-huh. Kuna watu ambao hawana discipline wanapotumikia Mungu. Uh-huh. Wanaongeanga mpaka wanakwaza watu. Aha. Uh-huh. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Amen. Na Yesu Biblia inasema ya kwamba si Yesu lakini kuna mahali scripture inasema ya kwamba tafuteni kuwa na amani na watu wote. Lakini kuna mtu akifika maana lazima akwaze mtu. Uh-huh. Kwa nini uko na hiyo roho? Hauna discipline katika kutumikia Mungu. Uh-huh. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Amen. Kuna watu, watu ni kweli wanatumikia Mungu, lakini lazima wakwaze wengine. Uh-huh. Hawana discipline. Uh-huh. Ndio maana Biblia inasema hivi 1 Corinthians 9:26 to 27. Na naposoma hapo nikusomee Proverbs 25:28. Is that as no discipline over his own spirit is like a city that is broken yule asiye na discipline ama tabia njema ni kama mji ambao ukuta wake umebomolewa first corinthians 9 26 to 27 nilikuwa nimesoma proverbs 25 28 tunapomtumikia mungu ni lazima tuwe na discipline usiwe mtu akupayuka payuka kuna watu ambao wanajaribia dignity yao zombi ya kupayuka sana we aku yani kila mtu mnaweza bishana sisi kama mmoyoiona mtu mtu mkubwa ana bishana kama mtoto no nitakutandika eh yani wana unauliza sasa wamefika hiyo level lini amen amen kuna guku mwanangu anza ogethia this mwana amose but mwa tuta imbe di tuta usane we ende pasa ko pepa ndwai ndi na kana kama mtu kwa watu wakataandika akwati si hata bwana yesu asifiwe amen kuna watu 
wanajiteremsha ngai utapata wanabishana kila mtu mtu ambaye hafai kubishana amen pasa israel kuna watu hii church ufai kubishana wao ukimwambia afanye hivyo kana afanye usibishana eh maana uh-huh. atakufanya ukue mjinga kama yeye eh kwa nesa asifiwe amen dikones kuna tu msichana tu kichwa ngumu ukikambia afanye unaona kana kuinukia waachana naye maana mkiaza atakuvuruta ataku uvike hiyo level yake tu amen Wanaweza wasifiwe. Amen. Discipline itakupatia how you conduct yourself. Uh-huh. Kuna watu wameongoka they don't respect the elderly. Mhm. Haleluya. Amen. Na unaonanga kana kamla ile kamlango iko pale inakuanga. Unaona tumemaliza ibada na kama sana kadao kamejishikilia kwa mlango hivi na kanajua hapo ndio watu wanafaa kwenda kule chambers, executive chambers. Na mzee mzima kama deacon anapitia hapo akazikii kitu kama kana discipline kabisa. Kae kwa moyo kitu nangu na asema bidite. Kaeto naika mondo kau. Amen. Amen. Unajua Ukristo kuna kitu inawekanga ndani ya mtu. Aha. Uh-huh. Anakuwa na tabia fulani. Aha. Uh-huh. Kuna vile anajiconduct. Aha. Uh-huh. Unaona kama ni mama kuna vile ana create gap na muzi. Hata kuna watu wengine hawana discipline wa approach servants of God. Uh-huh. Unaweza ona kamvulana kadogo ama kimvulana hawa tu wa condolences hapo tu wa mbavu 18. Alam kama anaongea na For example ni pastor Judy kana mkaribia hivi mama nilikuwa tena kana mguza nguza yani kuna tabia inakuja kuna kitu inafaa kuwa ndani inakwambia huyu ni mama uh-huh. weka hatua kadhaa amen wanaweza wasifiwe amen na kuna wengine hata wana approach pastors anajua huyu ni pastor ni mwanaume ako anointed na anakuja na mshike anamshikilia kwa mabega pastor nilikuwa nakwambia hivi hey discipline wanaweza wasifiwe amen sema discipline discipline kuna kitu ina, inafaa kuwa gap between the elderly and the young Amen. between the anointed and the followers wale ako hapo chini acha kuwe na hiyo ngap hata maofisi za za za, za church kuwe na ngap kuna kanyumba iko pale apostle alipea ufai kuingia hapo nika mtu mmoja sasa utapata mtu anaingia hapo ni kapanga kwa ni ogia na kapanga na hiyo hundo ndio wanaweza wasifiwe Amen. Sasa kingine unaona watu wanakuja na vitu wanarundika kwa milango huku kwa pastors unashindwa ni, ni madharau ama ni kutokujua na ni discipline tu. How you conduct yourself it mm-hmm. speaks volume. Itatuambia wewe ni mtu umechanguliwa na Mungu ama umejiita. Uh-huh. Hallelujah. Amen. Am I talking to somebody? Yes. Am I helping somebody? Yes. Hebu nisomee hiyo first Corinthians ndio tumalizie pale. First Corinthians Chapter 9 verse 26 to 27. Ndivyo mm-hmm. basi inayopiga bio nikiwa na nia ya kushinda mm-hmm. ndivyo inapopigana. Mm-hmm. Na si kama na si kama bodia anayetumba anayetupa ngumi zake hewani. Mm-hmm. Na upa mwili wangu mazoezi magumu Aha. na kutia katika nidhamu kamili. Nidhamu ndio hiyo discipline. Ninaupa mwili wangu mazoezi makali na kuutia katika nidhamu. Siku moja Yesu anatuma mitume, anamwambia, "Endeni mkahubiri kule." Kunaitwa so enzo, lakini msizalimie mtu. Discipline. Amen. 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 Yaani kuna conduct unafaa kuwa nayo kama Mkristo. Amen. Kuna tutabia uwezi kuwa nayo. Uh-huh. Kuna tu vitu uanze samwa nayo, maana uh-huh. kuna discipline fulani uko nayo. Amen. Somebody lift up your hand and declare my father my God. My father my God. Give me discipline. Give me discipline. Give me willingness to teach others. Give me willingness to teach Give others. Give me grace to suffer for my assignment. Give me grace to serve for my assignment. Give me grace to serve willingly. Give me grace to suffer willingly. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Hizo vitu ine ukiomba Mungu akupatie neema yake, au utasikia unakwaruzana Mungu kitu, na mtu ukitumikia Mungu. Amen. Be willing to serve. Ukija hapa ku serve, au utasema so enzo alinikwaza, mm-hmm. maana atakukwaza saa ngapi na wewe ulikuwa unamtumikia. Aha. Uh-huh. Haleluya. Ukiwa willing, ukiwa na willingness to suffer, watu wakuseme, waze kuseme, utasema as long as wananisema kwa sababu natumikia Mungu, I do. Amen. 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 Number three, willingness to teach. Mtu mwalimu achokangi, anasomesha mtoto anamwambia Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Amen. Acha niseme mtu mmoja ndio nimalizie pale na story. Kuna mtu mmoja wa kule kwetu nimezaliwa wa familia. Ah, uh, mwalimu alikuja akafundisha M and U. M U inasema mu. Amen. 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 Ah, M A inasema ma. Sasa ile wakafundishwa leo, wakafundishwa kesho, hiyo ingine actually That man was my uncle. Uh-huh. Kwa hivyo alipokuja shule siku ya tatu, mwalimu akaandika kwa ukuta MA tulisema inasemaje? 
tija 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 we watoto watu wakainua huyu ango yangu akaangalia akaona mimi hapa ndio sijui mm. mwalimu achokangi amen amen utafundisha mtu ataenda visivyo utamfundisha tena kwa hivyo mtukwa ah sorry nimesema jina yake lakini haidhuru uh, mtua <laughs> alipoona yeye ndiye ajainua mkono akasema teacher kwanza akanyaka desk juu teacher teacher ndio unajua sasa amejijaza ndio asiulizwe mwalimu angalia akasema ngai leo mtua amejua jibu hebu nimuulize mtua akastuka maana sasa ajui anasema nini na unajua ameulizwa m and a inasema aje akashuka kwa desk akasimama akamwambia tunakongojea ah pigeni mtu wa makofi leo anajua akajikusanya akasema mu <laughs> waje nikwambie ah kuniwa kwa la school amen amen nilikuwa naambiwa story yake na wale walikuwa class na yeye uh-huh. akasema akaniambia unaona huyu ango yako yeye mara ya mwisho kuacha shule alifanya hivi na hivi alipigwa Adesa namba akuniwa angola school eno goza nite namba abi kama si aso bia kamika mete ogi ogu adesa namba amen. amen lakini mwalimu hakuchoka alikuwa anampiga ndio a correct lakini wengine hapa tukipiga wataacha shule ya injili uh-huh. wataacha shule ya wokovu uh-huh. watarudi kwa mashetani Mm-hmm. Somebody say my father my god. My father my god. Give me teachable spirit. Give me teachable spirit. I want to serve you better. I want to serve you in the better. name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Kwa hivyo unapofundisha mtu hata ukimwambia ma na aseme mu muendelea tu kumfundisha. Amen. Study to show yourself approved. Amen. A worker who is not ashamed. Amen. Hiyo ndio scripture na kuacha nayo. Endo usome vizuri na umeditate. Do your best to present yourself a worker who is not ashamed. Amen. Na wakati utasikia ku quit in the school of salvation, ukumbuke 2 Timothy 2:15. Study to show yourself approved. It is you to study, it's not your pastor. Amen. Ni wewe uangalie, ni wapi hapo nimefanya makosa na unajirudisha. Amen. God bless you so much our viewers for joining us. We believe that God has blessed you. We believe that your ministry has been shaped up and God is going to use you powerfully and in a unique way. Neema ya Bwana ikutoshi. Tunataka tukupatie nafasi ya kupateka hii neema na nikupetia sadaka zako. Utume sadaka yako katika hii madhabahu. Namba yetu ndio hiyo tumeshapin pale 0723365099. Useme ya kwamba hii tabiu yangu ni ya kuchochea neema ya kumtumikia Bwana. Hii madhabahu ninainua ni ya kutangaza ya kwamba sitawahi shindwa sitawahi ondolewa kumtumikia Mungu na chochote. I'll be very willing to serve. I'll be very willing to suffer. I'll be very willing to teach others and I will be very willing to exercise discipline as I serve God. Naye Mungu wa mbinguni atakubariki. Nyosha mkono wako tuombe. Baba katika jina la Yesu naombea mtazamaji huyu na mnena baraka. Huyu ni mtumishi wako. Nimetenena ujumbe ambao ulikuwa umeweka katika maisha yangu kuhusu kutumika. Ninajua ya kwamba maisha yake haitabaki ya kawaida. Ujumbe huu uzalike katika anga yake. Ujumbe huu kamuinue kutoka level kwenda level nyingine because it is only because of service we are promoted. I pray in the name of Jesus as they serve you. Let them be promoted from one level of glory to another level of glory. We bless you and I bless their lives in Jesus mighty name we pray and we believe. Amen and amen and amen. God bless you so much. Remember to tune in for our next service at 11 sharp in Jesus mighty name. Appreciate our viewers when up talk online. Hallelujah. In Jesus mighty name. Amen and amen. God bless you so much. Naomba tusimame.